<laughs> men are just trash. <laughs> What's good, man? We don't need no introductions because y'all hoes already know who I am. <sighs> mm -mm. Honey, honey, didn't I say they were trash? Didn't I say they were trash? But y'all Eddie Kim fans, Roy Kim fans, y'all tried me. Y'all tried to come on here and play me. No, no. I am not Boo Boo the Fool. I know trash when I see it. And there they are. Ancestors reveal everything. That little trash talking Holly Hilt bitch came on here the other day getting mad. Getting mad because, oh, her boy. Oh, you don't have the right to say that he's innocent until proven guilty, bitch. Fuck you. Y'all fucking goddamn cake pop stands get on my nerves. You see all this fucking evidence right here. Blood be on the niggas' hands and shit like that. They even said they did it. You're just like, I'm going to always be here for you, Opa. In your heart, in our hearts. Bitch, stop. You sound like a fucking sadist. I can't. I cannot. Roy Kim and Eddie Kim just admit it. That they were sharing this illegal footage. Homeboy from FT Island, he admitted it too. But guess what? He just admitted the dude from FT Island, Choi Jung Hoon, just admitted that he was filming some of the footage. Wow. Wow. You grown ass man, and you sat there. And you watched them women get raped. And you filmed it. And you got your fucking rocks off. You're a piece of shit. You're just as bad. You're just as, you're just as bad as those dudes that are doing that to those women. Okay? It can Roy Kim. For y'all to share this shit? The fuck? Are you serious? Roy Kim, you, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. Your damn daddy was out here. You know, he is apologizing for your behavior and everything. That breaks that man's heart. Your ass off in America just doing whatever. And your bitch ass is out here doing that shit. I don't want to hear no fucking stand come on my shit talking about yada, yada, yada. No, shut the fuck up. Okay? These niggas is fucking garbage. They're garbage. Some bitch got mad me talking about, you need to watch your mouth, your language, your trash. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck you and your daddy and your mama. Like, go somewhere. Sit the fuck down. Swallow some LaCroix or something like shit. Goddamn. That, I, I'm disappointed. Highly disappointed and highly disgusted. Like, the fuck. And what makes it even just fucked up these motherfuckers really sat here and thought they could get away with it. You really thought. You you just thought you was going to get away with it. And now the dude, the Choi Jung Hoon dude, boy, he is in bigger trouble. This girl said that he raped her while here in America. What? This shit is getting scary. It's getting out of control. Period. So we have to watch out for that story as it happens. But... This situation with Roy and Eddie Kim, y'all hoes was just out here defending these niggas like everything was cool. No. Even if they weren't involved in the act, they were sharing the shit, laughing a bit at it. The hell? Y'all some sick motherfuckers. And you know, Honky was right. He was like, uh-uh, I don't know you. I don't want to be near you or associate with you. And I don't blame him. You know, Honky don't play. He will drag your ass for filth. He will tell you about yourself and your mama. So I don't blame him. This whole situation is ridiculous. You really think when you meet, you you know somebody. I'm, I keep telling y'all hoes out here. K-pop is not all rainbows, marshmallows, unicorns, and all that shit. 
It's not all about that fan serving and shit. This shit is real. There's so much shit behind closed doors. This shit is garbage. This shit is nasty. These are grown people out here doing shit. Okay, they're grown enough to know that but what's right and wrong. And you know their family has been like, you know, in Korea, like, you dishonor your family. They're just like, we don't know you. You're on your own. Some families, they're like, okay, we got you. But some be like, I don't know him. I don't know him. Yeah, come on, man. Y'all, these are the same niggas that went on TV talking about, I love women. I respect women. I respect my mom, my sister, and all this. And you doing this shit? No, you don't. No, you don't. Man. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. And I knew it. I knew it. Y'all fans need to get it together. You really need to get it together. Stop. Stop supporting trash. Stop supporting trash. Stop caping for trash. Stop dick riding trash. Stop it. You look like a fucking loser. Okay? You look like a dumbass bitch. I'm just letting you know. Do you need me to say it again? You look like a dumb motherfucking bitch. Who the hell sits up here in capes for trash? Oh, some of y'all do. My bad. The same ones that ask me to do shit like videos like this get mad at me. Because it's their face. I don't give a fuck about your face. Shit, I don't even give a fuck about mine. Hell, shit. Ridiculous. This is, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is beyond ridiculous. These niggas really thought they was going to get away with this shit. Like, it's, 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 this been going on for years. And these niggas has been getting comfortable. Comfortable. And, you know, what's really sad is that the guy that was injured in the burning sun, I know I said it, it was a, the lady that got, you know, jacked up. But actually, it was the man who got assaulted in the club. If that hadn't happened, this whole shit would have never, all this turn of events would have never happened. And now they're coming after his ass, threatening him and everything. Like, the fuck? Y'all fucked up. <laughs> Y'all fucked up. Crazy mess. I pray for these women. I pray for the people, the witnesses and their protection. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'll talk to y'all later. Love, peace, and crease it. Bye. Mm.